Good afternoon and welcome to Grain TV. It's February 14, 2013. To my left is Logan Burgess and I'm Brock Shimbino. Let's turn over to the fire tip trading software to see how Chicago ended today. Corn was down half a cent, soybeans off five and a quarter, wheat in Chicago off three and a half, and Kansas City off five and a half as well. If you guys want live quotes in your home or office, make sure you head over to grainhedge.com and take a no obligation trial there. Uh, Logan, the big thing I want to take away from today is that corn sold off for the 10th session in a row. Right. Longest day, uh, consecutive losing streak we've seen in over five years. Um, that's something to definitely note. But I think what we saw towards the end of the session was really the selling interest started to slow up a little bit. Right. And I, you know, heading into the weekend, I'm kind of looking for a little bit of a, a short covering, a little bit of a buying rally as we head into the weekend. Yeah, I agree with you, Brock. You know, in today's action, we didn't see corn print new lows uh, from yesterday. This was the first time in several days where uh, we didn't actually push this market lower than we had seen it the previous day. It really seemed like export sales here that we got this morning kind of got some selling pressure in this market. If we look at the numbers, corn pretty much in line with trade expectations. Wheat actually had a strong showing this morning, but the big thing that people were looking at were soybean sales, which actually on net we saw about 109,000 metric tons uh, canceled. So certainly an early indication right now that the U.S. is losing steam uh, in, in terms of export sales as a large Brazilian crop is ready to get taken out of the field. Uh, but with these in mind, Brock, what's kind of uh, what, what's your stance on this export market right now? Where do we sit in terms of uh, the pace needed to meet USDA expectations? Yeah, you know, we're still ahead of pace on soybeans. If we take a look at this chart that we've been following all marketing year long, the red line here is the seasonal pace we need to meet the current USDA projections. Uh, the blue bars are what we actually are seeing for export sales during the week. Right. Uh, and this is the soybean chart. As you can see here, we missed expectations with those net cancellations that we saw this week. We we're out still 130 million bushels ahead of pace to meet that USDA projection, but we fell another 16 5 million bushels on that pace this week. That's three weeks in a row we've actually had substantial losses on that pace. Right. If we turn our attention to corn, it's a little bit different story. You can see that we did meet expectations this week um, on as far as what the analysts were expecting, but yeah. to meet the seasonal pace, we actually fell a little bit short. We're still 42 million bushels behind even that revised pace from last week's report, and we fell another 7.5 million bushels this week. So we're still quite a bit ahead on soybeans, although right. we are starting to slow up on that pace, we are ahead. Yeah. And for corn, we still continue to see lackluster sales and continue to fall short of what we need to meet the USDA expectations. Yeah, absolutely, Brock. You know, one thing that people are going to be watching closely in terms of the soybean market is the no crush numbers. We're going to be getting those um, out tomorrow. Do you kind of have an outlook on, on what the trade's expecting there? Yeah, the average of uh, the analyst guess is for 159.5 uh, uh, million bushels uh, going to soybean crush last month. Yeah. Um, if we do see a number somewhere around that, that'll be the largest uh, crush total for January that we've seen since 2010. So that's right. definitely a number that would reaffirm what the USDA did last week. They raised the crush figure by about 10 million bushels last week. Yeah, certainly. You know, that number is going to be watched closely. We did earlier in the week uh, hear a story out from Oil World where they project the U.S. to actually be an importer of soy meal in the second or third quarter. 2013. Um, so certainly people are going to be watching this closely. Uh, soybean meal crushings have been running at an exceptionally strong pace, uh, but certainly we'll have to wait and see tomorrow if the pace continues there. But in general, you know, I think that's kind of what we saw today uh, in the grain market here. Certainly thanks a lot for joining us on Grain TV, guys. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow morning for those Nova Crush numbers.